Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. I am sharing some Happy Mail today and this is so adorable. These are little clutch purses I received from Marg. I will link her shop below and also I will try and list it above um, the video here. She also sent me the printable version of it. So I think I'm going to try and make one of them. Um, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I will show you how I'm going to put the base together. So I'll try and put like the envelope flip out part together. Let me show you uh, what's in here for now. Um, as always, you can check the links below and I will also leave a timestamp at the bottom so you can um, see what time I start the um, craft project of putting these together. So look how adorable you guys and it has the little flip out uh, little um, flaps here. So I'm going to start showing you this one then I'll come back to the pink one and hopefully you guys will enjoy the share. How super adorable. So now I'm just looking at it I'm trying to see how she's actually you know brought all these together she does say she prints her, these this kit particularly on um, copy paper but it's a thicker copy paper um, and not in cardstock because um, she says with cardstock it would be difficult to kind of put all the pieces together properly and it would be too thick I think she also used magnets for the closure I don't have magnets so I'll have to improvise and see how I can close mine, but this would make such a cute little happy mail, a snail mail for friends, for swap, you can fill it up with all the goodies. I really love the, um, the tiny little ephemera pieces she added to them, and I like the, that she, um, you know, kind of color coordinated everything really nice, so, and it's a happy floral theme, which is super cute. So now the inside. And then with the tickets, she's also made these little tuck spots here, as you can see. And then I just showed you the back of the, um, the photocopy paper as well. Now this one, I don't think I see instructions on this one, um, but I will attempt uh, to put this together, I guess, just like you would if you received this at home. So thank you, Mark. These are super adorable. I actually... Um, had not seen these before this way anyways I know people make them out of envelopes and all these different things but this is such a cute idea to have um, a little kit put together already so okay so this is the uh, first one the little I'm gonna call it the green one but I know there's a name for it I will link that below and then this is the uh, the pink um, flowers one and it is just so adorable absolutely love it and look how beautiful the colors are so then we've got the flip out in the center and the bottom little tuck. These are so nice. And I, on these ones, she um, double sided the printout. So I guess she printed on the back, which is also a fun idea. So you don't have the white of the um, photocopy paper on the other side, unless you're going to be staining it or um, spraying it or inking it, then I guess it might not make much of a difference. So there's this one and then these little um, again the little tuck spot look how beautiful this is I love that little image it's so vibrant you guys I'm not sure if it's coming through in the video but it's just beautiful something like something you would see on uh, Pinterest so this one's a little belly band and then we've got two little tucks and some more stuff inside so super adorable I'm starting to think of maybe where else I would leave a pocket or something open or just kind of attach these things differently, the little ephemera pieces. These are so cute as well. I love these little things. It's just making me think of tiny journals and tiny ephemera for them. So adorable. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, the printouts, just how they look when they come to you because this is how she sent them or how you would print them out. Um, and I'll also show you after that how I'll put one of the envelopes together just to get an idea of the setup because I'm, I think I've figured it out, but we'll see with the printouts. So let me show you this one first. So you can see it's got lots of tickets and lots of little pieces you can work with. So that would be the front, the inside, I believe, of the envelope. 
and then additional little ephemera pieces and then look at all these cuties there's so many my goodness and then this these are the flaps i believe because i remember just seeing those so there's that one and then we've got the pink one and again with the uh the front i love those florals this one would be the inside or the back as she's put here and then these beautiful images oh i love them my goodness the colors are just beautiful and then here she has written some instructions on that and this would be the inside i guess the flap that goes out printed out on um, borderless printing so there's that's important i guess and then we've got this extra little piece here and the other ephemera bits okay so i'm going to try and put the green one together i think let's see how this works i'm just going to grab my pieces and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the quick share okay so i will um, gather the front the back of the envelope and then um, i'll just kind of cut those apart right now i will save you the time of watching me cut each individual piece and i will do these and come back and show you when i've cut out the pieces that i'm going to need so i've got the front the back and the flaps so i think that i have to glue these together and then stick them inside but then i have to make sure that i fold them evenly because you need to have the little flaps fold out nicely so i think i'll glue them together first and then this way I've got a nice um, surface to work with that's already kind of stuck together and then I will attach them to the underside of the envelopes okay so I have gotten them ready so I'm thinking um, I because I don't often measure <laughs> I kind of eyeball things a lot I'm going to try and kind of eyeball to see where the center would be for the flaps and then kind of fold it over and see if that's going to look okay. I think that's how I'm going to do it. If you guys have a better idea, let me know because sometimes, you know, we get stuck thinking we're doing something easy and it's kind of a little bit more difficult than it should be. So here I'm just going to eyeball it in between the envelopes so you can see here just to make the little flaps and then i think what i need to do is just glue them to the envelope covers so i think that's how that works like i said it's giving me some ideas on other things that i could do with these um, this printout but for now we will stick with its original purpose of becoming a little clutch purse Okay, so I will glue this down. So I'll do the, I'll glue the flap first to the um, inside of the envelope. And then um, there we go. So I've glued that all together. So you can see now, I'm going to just cut the excess because I didn't quite um, cut it properly initially. So this is the tricky part because I might be cutting a little much on the other side because it moved, it shifted a little bit, but I didn't want to kind of go back and take it off and start again. So keep that in mind when you are making something like this. Just make sure you um, you get all the uh, pieces, you know, kind of put together properly before you um, glue them on. Okay, so this is what it ends up looking like. I've glued the flaps to the underside and then I'm just going again eyeball where the fold up would be and then the flip down of it so I think that's how that works um, and then just fold that down and then here we go it's looking like that little clutch purse already super cute you guys what oh my gosh I love it and so there we go. So then it would just be adding the pieces to it afterwards. So I forgot to glue this piece. So I think I'm just going to do that now. So don't forget that when you're doing it, I glued the flaps to one side of the envelope, but not the other. So make sure you do both sides before you, um, 
you start folding things, but that's easily fixed because I just did it. So I'll just add a little glue to either side and then that should be good to go. So there we go. I think this is it. Let me just see how that's going to look. So, oh, and I'm going to show you, I guess, what I'll do for the closure because like I said, I don't have the magnets. I guess those little Velcro dots would work as well. I've seen people use Velcro dots a lot in their work. Um, I don't have those either. So I'm just going to have to improvise to see how I can close it. I mean, you could always just tie a ribbon around the whole thing. Um, but let me just see what I will end up doing here. So that's glued nicely. Now we've got the flaps all where they need to be. And so I think what I'll do is I'll just make um, a hole at the top. Um, just to maybe attach some string. So you can see here she's got the... Um, magnet so yeah so I think I'll just kind of make a small hole in the center of the flap and then I'll get some of the hole reinforcers and then maybe I'll just tie a little bit of string around it that might look nice I think okay so I think that's what I'll do let's see how that's going to turn out I think these are a little big for this purpose but you know it's not a big deal again it's just a fun project I wonder if I added maybe a brad that would also work. What do you guys think? A brad, would that have worked better? And then kind of tie the string around it? I'm thinking that would also work nicely. So yeah, you know, closures is one of those things that you can all come up with what you would like to do. But I think I'll just tie the string around it and just make a little bow and call it done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the share. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And Marg, thank you so much for sending these to me. They are so adorable and they've really inspired me to, um, you know, come up with other things to do with paper. And I really love this um, idea of the little purse. It's such a great idea for, like I said, happy mail and swap mail and Oh, it's just so adorable. Even like a little birthday gift card. Oh, how cute is this? Okay. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you next time. And thanks so much for stopping by.